Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be testing out the weirdest products ever. I have so many really cool, strange things to try out. I'm gonna do it blindfolded with my non-dominant hand. It's gonna be a challenge video also. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Um, but I am in the mood for a challenge video, like a really good one. Have you seen any going around? Let me know in the comment section below what I should do for kind of one of those like crazy challenges. We have a lot of crazy products, but they're also potentially really cool products. We are gonna start with the eyes because I have everything else clearly you know going on on my face from bronzer to foundation and I did use my Clarisonic weird brush that I'm obsessing over so much um, everything else is on brows included but my eyes are completely bare so we need to fix that and I'm gonna use this their real big sexy eye kit this is supposed to get your eyeshadow done in a snap and I have not ever even opened this up I've seen pictures online what are you oh for some reason, I thought you only got one shade in here, but you actually get three. You get Beyond Nude, Naughty Neutral, and Bombshell Brown. So what you're supposed to be able to do, what the hell is that? I have never in my life had a sponge dip applicator look like a little marble. I'm gonna lose this in two seconds. That's gonna be the problem. And then the whole kit will be ruined because I think this is the magical part of the kit. Okay, so it does say to slide this in one of the colors. That was Puka throwing a fit in the backyard. Did we all hear that? It does say to slide this over the color and then sweep it on the lid and you're done. I don't think this is gonna work. I just don't, but I'm gonna try it anyway because that's what I'm here to do for you guys. I'm here to see if any of this stuff actually is worthwhile. I have my custom shadow blender. What shade do I do? I don't know. I'm gonna go with um, Boring Bombshell. That's not what it's called. It's called Bombshell Brown. But you know, I'm gonna do what they suggest doing. So I'm flipping this around. Let's see if I can have beautiful shadow in just one swipe. I mean, it's not terrible. It's kind of bad. Let's take a little tapered crease brush and kind of blend that through. It's actually not half bad. I'm gonna go and take a little more of that darker shade and not totally terrible, but definitely kind of gimmicky. Um, yeah, so this is $36. I don't know that this kind of a thing is worth $36. The shadow in here is pretty decent. So if you want to purchase this because you like these colors and you wish to use this with regular brushes as well, because you definitely have to blend this bit out a little bit, a little bit, 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 bit. I'm personally not really feeling this because I think I can do my makeup this fast with two brushes or even just with my fingertip on the lid and a crease brush and use different shadows. And these colors are not exactly my most favorite, but they're not, well, ooh, actually, do we see how that is pretty chalky? Shoot. You know, you guys, Benefit does a lot of things right. They do such a good job with brow products as well, but eyeshadow just, in my opinion, is not one of them. It's not totally awful. It did do kind of good job, but I still think 36 bucks for that shadow and this kind of weird applicator is not worth it. Let's do um, a little try out of this mascara in a weird package. What tacky packaging, okay? What is this? It's supposed to look like a leaf, I guess. Ultimate weird product. Actually, if you've been watching my videos from the beginning, you definitely have seen me use this before. So I'm not even that funny. I just, I need to put on mascara. The packaging is really tacky, but this mascara is really good. It's organic. It gives you a lot of volume. The trick is you put on one coat and then you wait for it to dry and then you go back in and then you have the most incredible lashes of your lifetime, of your lifetime. Let's move on to more, oh shoot. I wanted to try this out, gosh dang it. I'm kind of annoying myself because I forgot that I had a liner marker in front of me. We're gonna use it anyway. Who cares that I just put on my mascara? We'll do this a little bit backwards. The tip of this is really big, so it should be just fine. Um, this is from Milk Makeup. I love Milk Makeup. Their um, cream eyeshadows, oh, so, so good. This looks actually like a marker. It's called an eye marker, but it actually looks like I could be writing on a poster board and it has the same kind of tip as like a highlighter or an actual felt tip marker. Let's go in and do some lining. 
has a very like slanted edge. Whoa. I'm like Cleopatra vibes right now. Look at that. Dang. Mm, what the hell did I just do in my face? Okay, I don't like this. I don't like it. It is just too gosh dang thick. Okay, do you know what I feel like? A desperate teenager that's not allowed to wear makeup and she went and used a Sharpie. It actually smells like a marker. I mean, it's very rich in pigment, but that tip is too wide to do any precise work. Which brings me to my next weird product. This is from Tony Moly. This is the Smoky Makeup Eraser. It's a deep cleansing something. There's not a lot of English on here. You know what? Let's scoot in a little bit closer. I think we need to do that. It's about time. You need to see exactly what the heck is going on right here. Yeah, that could use a little TLC. <laughs> um, this marker's 20 bucks. It is waterproof. I do like the pigmentation in here. However, this is a mess and it's just a little bit too wide and you can even see where I made a mistake up here. Right there, I kind of went above where I wanted to. So I am going to take this Pro Clean Smoky Makeup Eraser from Tony Moly. This is around $12. It has jojoba oil, avocado oil, Camilla oil, argan oil, lots of oil. Let's hope that this doesn't like jack up the rest of my concealer and makeup. I was expecting the tip to be uh, pointed and not round, which is kind of tripping me out. And it says it's, well, okay. Let's just see what happens. Huh, that actually worked quite well. And then what I would do is take the point here and just kind of re, like try, try again, you know? Let's try, try again. All right, so I think this is a pretty cool thing to have on hand for around $12. Let's see if I can kind of fix the edge up here at all. Not bad. So the way to use this though would be to clean up where you feel like you've messed up and then wait for it to completely dry before you go back in with any other of your makeup. Another trick I like to do if I'm using just like straight makeup remover or cleansing water or a little eye cream, cause actually all of those things will work to kind of fix up any makeup mistakes. I will go over the area with a Kleenex with my finger underneath it. It looks like a little ghost. Woo! Um, and I will clean up the edge and make sure things are dried down. My God, you guys, we're in the danger zone where one liner is thicker than the other. So you go, you try to match it with the fear that you might actually make it bigger, trying to match this one being big. And then you try to match this one being big and then you make that bigger and then you try and match this one and then you cry. Not the best liner day of my entire existence, but you know what? We have other products to try, so we are going to move on. I actually have something for my hair, random enough. This is from a company called Unite, and they have fabulous hair care stuff. And I saw this, and it's called Liquid Dust. This is supposed to add texture, volume, and hold. And I was talking with one of the stylists and they were like, this is the best thing ever. It's like those hair powders, but it's in a liquid form and you can use this on wet hair. You can use this on dry hair at the root to kind of give you more of a messy look. So let's try to mess this up. Oh wow, that already feels really gritty. Mm. Mm. Do I look good? Okay, this just made my hair feel like it needs to be brushed really, really badly. Whoa, but oh my God, I can see where this could be really a good thing. Whoa. Okay, this just made my hair so big. Like if you could reach through the screen and touch my hair right now though, it kind of feels like I just used a crap ton of hairspray and it has a little bit of like stickiness to it. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm on the fence. I like the volume, but maybe if my hair was more curly, cause I don't know that this looks so good, but I can see where this could be a cool product. Maybe to like texturize it before you do like a nice updo or something like that. I don't know. All right, now I have a lip pack that actually uh, kind of brings me back to some horrible memories of peeling lipstick off of my mouth. Uh, if we remember that WTF, if we remember that video, it was pretty horrifying. I almost threw up. I was peeling bits of 
uh, jelly kind of stain your lips lipstick. You know, that was like a big trend for a while. Peeling it off my mouth and it was just horrible. I didn't like trying it, but this is actually supposed to plump your lips. It's a peel off lip treatment. So it's not gonna stain your lips. It's just gonna plump them up. And I thought, you know what? Why not? I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood to go crazy. So let's just see what happens. This is the Peru Lip Pack. This is $17.99 and the main ingredient is hyaluronic acid, which is one of my favorite ingredients ever because it attracts moisture from the air to your skin or in this case to my lips. I'm suddenly really afraid. This is what I do trying out weird items. Like I bruised myself with that lip suction thing that I recently tried out. I'm just gonna put this on like a lip gloss. Eh, uh, gross. It's really thick. Kind of feels like I'm putting one of those peel off masks on my lip. <laughs> so let's hope I was doing that right because there's no instructions. This is made in Japan. Leave on for 15 minutes, what? <sighs> All right, what are we gonna do for 15 minutes, guys? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I know, let's play with tattoos. I think I wanna put this right here. These are from Mr. Kate. Success. I think I'm gonna do something like this, kind of like a bunch of cool stars on my shoulder. I think that'll actually look really cute. I already have a glass of water because I knew I wanted to play with these. And I am going to get a little bit of water on my sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna do this cool little, this guy right here. I kind of wanted to do something on my shoulders, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to place this on my wrist. These are like adult temporary tattoos that are so pretty, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna saturate my arm for 30 seconds. I can feel the stuff on my lips is starting to make me talk really weird. Ooh, that's so cool. I always wanted to get a tattoo right here. I don't have any tattoos, random side note, but for the longest time, I did want a tattoo right here. Ooh, that's really, 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 really pretty. Oh my God, I love that. That is like, oh, that's so cute. I love it. I actually wanna do more now. Are you ready for the big reveal? Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's just like little cute, like golden freckles. That's so cute. And my lip mask is now feeling really dry. So let's just full, ugh. Oh. Gross. That actually has like all the lines of my lips. Disgusting. Uh, oh. oh my God. Way less painful than the colored ones. Mm. My lips actually feel very hydrated. Hmm. I actually really liked that. That was really, really cute. Oh my gosh, why does it say kiss my pop and lip every day? I also picked up these bling toothy tabs. These are from Lush. I was gonna do this during my makeup tested by Lush, which ended up being a complete and total disaster. If you would like to watch that you know, ship sink, then I will link that video below. But these are supposed to have the essence of frankincense, orange oil. It's supposed to be kind of an on the go toothpaste. That stinks. Crunch one tablet up between your teeth, grab your wet toothbrush and brush. What? Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh my God, it's salty. Ugh. I'm not even being dramatic. I mean, I know I'm kind of just, my personality is dramatic. I get it, but ugh. I'm gonna eat some of these to like mask the taste. That is so, Nasty. Do not buy these. That is disgusting. I really want to trick James into thinking these are candy. Hey. hey. Baby doll. I'm kind of testing weird candy on my channel. Can you come out? I want you to try one. <laughs> okay. Here I come. And we'll just stick this in here. So I'm testing weird products. <clears throat> and weird candy. Okay. 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 Do you trust me? Is it gonna taste like peppers? Are you gonna trick No, there's me? nothing hot or spicy, I okay. promise. It's sweet. Okay. 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 I think you might like it. All Close right. your eyes. Do you see the trust? This is what a happy marriage looks like. 
Chew it up. Don't swallow it! Don't swallow it! She has me sit down. She literally has a roll of Smarties open. It's like sitting on the table. <laughs> and she's putting things in my mouth that are the same size as this. It's got a similar consistency. Mm, I love these rockets. I see you Canadians. These are $10. Uh, these are not Tachi approved. I'd rather just use toothpaste. That is the end of another Weird Products Tested. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, James, for making a special appearance as always. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.